In this video, we are going to talk about a person's heart rate. Now, a heart rate is measured in beats per minute or BPM for short. Notice that we've got this word per again, meaning that it's a rate. Now, when we measure a person's heart rate, we do it by checking their pulse and counting the number of beats in 15 seconds. So I'm going to use our four boxes technique to figure out a person's heart rate. So let's say we check their pulse and we did it for 15 seconds. And in 15 seconds, we counted 20 beats from their pulse. So let's go beats here. Now, what we can do is we can multiply this by 4, both of them. Why would we do that? Well, 15 times 4 is 60, and 60 seconds is 1 minute. When we multiply 20 by 4, we get 80. And what we notice is that the person's heart rate is 80 beats per minute, or 80 B. P M. Now we need to talk about something referred to as a resting heart rate. Basically a resting heart rate is when you are not doing strenuous activity, so such as sitting down or just walking around slowly. A person's resting heart rate can be anywhere from 60 to 100 beats per minute. So this one that we calculated down here, 80 beats per minute, looks like it's someone's resting heart rate. In fact, people who are elite athletes can have a resting heart rate as low as 40 beats per minute. Whenever we exercise or do any strenuous activity, that's when we notice our heart rate increasing and going above our resting heart rate. And we can feel that. We can feel our heart beating much faster when we do these things. We are now going to talk about our maximum heart rate, or MHR, as well as our target heart rate, or THR. As we get older, our maximum heart rate decreases, meaning that when we do strenuous activities or exercise, if our heart rate goes up too high, it becomes dangerous for our health. Now, the following formula is used to calculate a person's maximum heart rate. Now, if someone is only, let's say, 10 years old, so they're really young, then for our formula, we would just go 220 minus their age, minus 10. So they have a maximum heart rate of 210 beats per minute. Whereas someone who's much older, let's say 100, we use the formula, formula and go 220 minus 100, that person only has a maximum heart rate of 120 beats per minute. So if either of these people go above their heart rate, that's when they're putting their life in danger. All right, now we also have something called a target heart rate. When we are exercising, the target heart rate is the desired heart rate that is most beneficial for our lungs and heart, okay? And basically what they say is it's between 65% and 85% of our maximum heart rate. So let's say that someone's maximum heart rate is 200 beats per minute. So someone with a maximum heart rate of 200 would be 20 years old. We'll write that next to that. That person must be 20 years old. What we would do to find the target heart rate is we would find 65% of 200. And we would also find 85% of 200. And if you do that, 65% of 200 would be 130 BPM, and 85% of 200 would be 170 BPM. So when this person is exercising, they're trying to get their heartbeat somewhere between 130 and 170 beats per minute, because if they do, that is that becomes the most beneficial for their lungs and their heart. That concludes our video introducing heart rate. Remember to read the description below for links to theory booklets that relate to this video.